All righty. Okay, so we are going to just start um, in wide V on your mat in the middle of the room or in the middle of your mat or wherever you're at. All right. Let me get this all ready here. You guys hear that? All right. So we are just going to start. Heels um, towards each other. Toes are out. We're just going to go down and up. I've been through the same thing. Baby, don't you worry. I'm in nice and tight. Eight. I just want to know you. Tell me all you see. Four. Looking like you need you hold. Hold those heels down. All right, we're going to step into a curtsy to the left. So it's tall and step. Out and in. Two more this way. And then we're going to do four stepping with that left side. Two more. We're going right back to the start. Down and up. Tell me what you're thinking. Always overthinking. I just want to Back and tailbone are sliding you down your wall. Four. Don't have to be so gone. Three. Let's finish what we start. Two. It's all I ever want. One. Hold it low. You'll come up and down. Lift. Lift. Heels go down. Hold it. Our curtsies. Here we go. Center and step. It doesn't matter which side you start. You're doing four on one side, four on the other side. Here we go. Out and back. Hold it. Center. Down and up. Tummy stays in nice and tight. Down up. Eight, four, three, two, hold it low, heels on lift, lift, rolling through those feet, keep those heels up, pulse it. Four, three, two, heels down. down to the mat okay we'll be through here for a bit so let me set you guys up we're gonna work push-ups to start it's gonna be on our knees so your body shifted forward in line with those thumbs core is tight chins out by your fingers okay so we're gonna start with one leg I don't care which leg you do one leg's gonna be extended the other knees down we're gonna do push-ups We'll do both feet down, and we're going to do a push-up to a down dog, or you can be on your knees and do a push-up, lift the knees, push back. We'll do that. We'll do pulses, and then we'll just keep repeating. Oh, we'll do some plank walks, which means we'll drop. You can stay on your knees or stay on your toes, and we'll drop forearms and up. And your goal there is to keep everything tight. So if you find that dropping to your forearm as you start wiggling around, I want you to come to your knees because you're going to go slow and keep everything tight, okay? So this is for our body, but we're also going to be working into our core. And we'll kind of flow through the beat with it, all right? Good. All right, guys, so set yourself up. Again, I don't care. We're going to do four push-ups. With one leg um, lifted Why wait and four with say, the other. At least I did in my way. Fly way to face. 
your starting leg. Heart, lift it up. I understand. I made Down. my move. Up. And it was all about you. No, I feel so far removed. With those legs. You were the one thing in my way. You were the one thing in my way. Two. You were the one thing in my way. One. Both knees down or toes up. You down. were the one thing in my way. You were the one thing in my way. You were the one thing in my way. Down, down. Two more times. I hold it here. Time to fall. Drop the knees and stay on those toes. work here. You're going to lay on your back. Now, if you don't have a mat, you got to imagine what the mat width looks like. If you've got your mat, you're going to go. I'm going to show you guys first. You can have your hands underneath your seat. You can have them to the side, behind your back, I mean, net head, whatever feels comfortable. Those legs are straight. You're going to work on dropping on a diagonal, okay? So, if this is the width of my mat, my legs are going to drop corner, drop corner. That back stays pressed into the mat the whole time. All right, so you're going to be working into the side. We'll do that. Then you'll hold the legs up, separate them into a V, and we'll pulse between the legs. All right, and then we'll move to a bicycle ab, and then we'll repeat. All right. So again, the movement doesn't have to be big. I want you keeping that back pressed into the mat. That's your most important thing. So even if those legs drop a couple inches and drop a couple inches, you feel those obliques engaging and working for you. So I don't want you to have the knees bent if you don't have to. All right, I want you to work to keep straight. All right, set yourself up to where it feels best. 
Keep that core engaged and tight the whole time. And all right. Whew. So breathless, but still cold. Keep those legs together. They're moving as one. No arch in that back. Here we go. Corner, lift. Corner, lift. That back into that mat. That's eight. Kill me when it's over. I don't want to think Four, about it. Three hands I want you to behind the head. I don't know who's going to kiss you when I'm gone. So I'm going to love you now. Tapping that, that knee with the opposite I elbow. I know it'll kill me when Four, it's over. Shoulder, leg, shoulder. I don't want to think Four, about it. I want you to love three, me now. Two, one from the beginning. Tap down to the corner. Those fingertips. Let's cycle those legs. Twist. Twist. Oh, one leg out. Like that pulse between them. Drop that back into the mat. Eight. Four. Stay right where you're at. I want you to point those um, or lift those heels. We're going to work bridge. So it's going to be 16 fast. We're going to lift one leg. You're going to do eight one side, eight the other. We'll pulse and repeat. Third round, instead of lifting your one leg then the other, we're going to step out and in. One side leads four times, then the other side. All right, I'll talk you through it. But you're keeping those hips lifted, keeping that core engaged. And on the bridge part, I want you guys, if you need to, you can be flat foot, but otherwise I want you to lift those heels. All right, so take a nice deep breath. Yeah. Up been down. So damn hard, you got that head on Leave got that lemon at the top. Eight more. Down. So one side, you're pressing into that foot. 
three, two, switch it out. Four, three, two, both behind that hat, pop off. Up, up, up. Nice, tight squeeze here. Hips bare. Four more. Three, two, one leg up. Down up. Four. Three. Two. Switch it out. Down up. that back side. We're going to give it a break for a quick second. You're going to stand up. We're going to grab our weights. Do some upper body. Not a lot. And then we'll go back to the lower body, but no squats. All right. So again, we'll move to the beat. I want you guys to start with those elbows glued right there to the front corner of your rib cage. We're going to work biceps. It's important to keep everything super tight. That's how you feel it. All right, so brace through those feet. Shoulders down. I just want you to curl. Quicker. Keeping the contraction right there in those biceps. Tummy's in nice and tight. Take it out on a diagonal. Elbows still stay glued to those sides. Hold it here, press it out and in. Keeping the contraction, like keeping that bend in those elbows. Four. All right, speed it up. Press, press. Elbows stay out. Let those weights just hang heavy in those hands. Press. Alright, over 
Take it on that diagonal. Up, down. Those shoulders press down in those pockets behind you. Eight. Four. Three. Two. Hold it here. Press. 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 So those shoulder blades kind of pinch together as those elbows draw in. Two. One, hold it out, press, out, out, out. Four, three, go to those overhead presses, up, down. here. Eight. Framing that face. Four. Three. Two. And one. Lower down. All right. This is one of my favorites. We're going to listen to her beat. So we are going to work our calves. So get your surface nearby. We're gonna work both together, single leg, single leg, together in parallel. So we'll start with heels together, then we'll go to parallel, do the whole thing again, both single, single, done, okay? So you'll hear the beat, you're gonna follow it, um, or follow the beat in your head, what your calves tell you to do. So it's gonna be a lift the heel and two presses down, to start, then we'll go to big quick singles, and then we'll move to one side, the other side, okay? So it's like a lift, push, push, all right? So you know your legs stay straight and tight the entire time. So even if that means those calves, I mean, those heels lift just a little bit, keep those legs engaged from the waistline all the way down. So you're working into that. Your hips are pushed forward, your tummy's pulled in, so everything's tight. So you should start to feel the fire rise up your legs. Okay. If you don't, lock out those knees and really squeeze. So right now, you can be thinking about zipping up from those heels through those inner thighs. Hips push forward, no arch in my back. And we'll just listen to um, Nikki and Ariana. All right. So heels together, they stay together. Use your support. You can be facing it or have one hip. Whatever feels most comfortable. Here we go. Up, down, down, up. Give me 16 singles. Up, up. Those heels zip together all the way to those inner thighs. Four. Hold it up. That left one, right side only. Here we go. It's up, press, press. Okay, tight, straight up, down, down. Give me 16 singles. Up, up. Woo!
Hold it up. Like you're pressing into a wet sponge. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down. Four. Hold them all the way up. Highest. Not as high as you. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop. All right. We're going to work in the lower um, body. So we're going to work side legs, then back. So one side to your surface. All right. I don't want you guys playing it. I want you standing tall. So this inside leg, your standing leg. And if you need to have support this way, but just don't lean over. We will face our surface after. Outside leg, extend it long and flex that foot. All right, so you've got a soft bend in the standing. You've got a long, tight, straight leg with a flexed foot. All the energy, you should feel it shooting out through that heel. Lift, lift. So you're not going all the way down. I want that um, working zone to be on the entire time. Up. So it's almost up and halfway down. You're carrying it up nice and slow. Up. You should feel that glute. It's tight the whole time. Oh, look. That tummy stays in tight. Up. Up. Those toes are curled to your kneecap. Up. Down. One more step. Up. I want you guys to start to feel that top leg quivering because you're contracting it so tightly. Up. All right, hold it at your highest point. Six steps. It barely lifts because you're already at your highest point. Good job. Please. That standing leg should be feeling it too. Seven. Really squeeze quad and hamstring. Two 
hold it there. Now tiny little bend and press, bend and press. So if my arm is your leg, it looks like this. You're barely releasing that straight leg and then you're pressing right back out. Press, press, good. Good job, press, press, press. So, you barely feel that muscle move in that glute because you're hardly releasing that contraction. Good job, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, keep it lifted. Turn that body. I want you to have a long spine, so I don't want you guys to lay down. I want you to keep those hands, those arms to be bent, that same leg. Toes and knees are facing that floor. Lower and lift. So I want you guys to think about pulling that tummy in tight, taking that arch out of that back. So you see when I have an arch, I can lift my leg a little bit higher. When I scoot my belly and take it out, it stops that leg. That's where I want you working. Always add a heel lift on that standing leg. There's some intensity for that standing side. Lower and lift. Four. Three. Two. Hold that leg up and squeeze. Up, 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 up. Good job. Pull that tummy in. Flatten that back out. So both cheeks should be like little folders right now. Right? Up. Someone can come literally and bounce a little time. Point off there or bounce off. You've got a kid there with you. Last eight. Four. Three. Don't drop that leg. So you should feel the hamstring here as you're pressing out, out, press. Good job. Eight, four, three, two, and done. Stretch that out. You got the other side. All right. So set yourself up here. Now you know what you're doing. You can always do better on the second side because now you're prepared. So choose the way you're going to stand, whether you want to face and have both hands using the support or one side. You're standing tall, remember, so we're not leaning over. Outside leg is straight and tight. Flex that foot. On the lower, that foot should not come down, okay? It should hover right there, okay? Because you're kind of straightening and lifting. You can't keep the work if you keep it down here. So lift it out there. Lift it up and down. Good job. Up. Soft bend in your standing leg. Leg in tight. Up. Up. So keep your hand there on that glute muscle. Feel it. So I don't want any swinging. It should only kind of go out on a diagonal. Making you look like a wide V. Your trunk is part of it. Your leg becomes the other part. Like a super wide V. Right? Not a close in V. Very wide. What's that called? An obtuse angle if you're doing school? Learning stuff right now with your children? Yeah. Two more. 
hold it up tiny little squeeze pulse up. up. So again, you should not feel the relief of that glute muscle. Stick your hand there. It should stay tight the entire time. Your movement is as big as your thumb. That little tip of your thumb, not the entire thumb. Like so small. Someone could walk in the room right now and be like, are you even doing anything besides just holding your leg up in the air? Little do they know, right? Side leg, side of that fanny, side of that thigh, all the way out through that foot. You also are going to feel some um, work happening in the side line of the core. Your belly's pulled in so that core stays nice and tight, helps you keep that balance, keep your form so important. your high point and tiny, tiny little bone and press back out. Stick your hand there. Feel that glute work. Press, press. You barely see the movement. You should be able to look and your leg looks like that tiny ripple on that calm leg. It's just little. Not big. No way. It's tiny like a quiver. Press, press, press. Good job. Comes in. That torso up. Nice and tall. Eight, seven, six, five. You should feel that quad. Two. Hold that leg up. Keep that hard flex. Turn to face your surface. Scoop that belly and flatten that back. Lower and lift that leg. Lower. Now again, you can lift up onto the toes of that standing foot if you'd like a little extra. But don't arch that back. Nice long spine, you should look like a nice diagonal. From the top of that head all the way down through that heel. Lift, lower, lift with a nice tight work you're doing, that foot should not come all the way to that floor unless you're staying low and lifting there. But if there's any gap, I don't want it hitting the floor because you'll lose that work in the back of that leg. Hard flex. Curl those toes to that knee. Eight. Pull that leg up and pulse it up. Squeeze. This is where that finger is getting pinched, right between where that glute meets that thigh. That belly. Squeeze. Squeeze. Lock out that lifted leg. Squeeze. Squeeze. that belly in, take that arch out of your back. I'm telling you, it makes a difference. You have to consciously think about that all the time. It's super easy as you get tired to arch into it. And you just lose all that good work you're working for. Last four. Three. Don't lose that leg. Tiny bend and press, then press, press. I don't know how well you can see my leg, but it barely looks like it's moving here, guys. But I'm feeling that I'm releasing and then I'm squeezing out even tighter every time. Eight. Four. work. So, lean over, pop one hip, and switch it over, bending the one 
left knee and popping over to the other side. Both legs straight, just kind of drop in, feel the back of those legs. And when you're ready, lift tall. We're going down to the mat for some plank work. <laughs> All right. Again, you guys, in plank, your most important thing is to keep that core nice and um, tight and engaged. So if you start to feel like if you're on your toes, you're either popping up or you're dropping those hips down. I want you to drop to the knees. It's more important to keep that form and keep that core engaged as best you can than to stay on your toes. So the knee planks, is a modification, not less than for work, okay? It takes the pressure off and helps you as you're building the strength to hold for longer on your toes. So never feel like you're cheating yourself. I would much rather have you stay here than be here or here, okay? But we're gonna start on our forearms. We'll just move all the way around. It'll be great. All right. So press those forearms and those hands into that mat. You got the love and that I need. Pull those toes. You're staying on your knees you right here. If you're lifting up you those toes, you're staying to the here. Knees. I want you guys to think about pulling that pubic bone up to that belly button. That nipple line is aligned with those elbows. Your body is shifted forward. Your skin is up towards those fingertips. So we're not looking down at our toes. If you're on your knees, you can do a little drop, a little lift, little drop, a little lift. Whether you're on your knees or your toes, everyone can take you back. Keep that right side on. Get that hip. Working into that waistline. Here we go. Dip right and center. Right and center. Only the right side. If you're on your knees, you're doing the same thing. Dip, center. Keep that core in tight.
on. Roll to one side. I don't care what side. You're going to be I'm on your um, forearm. I am wearing it All right. I want those I'm legs extended and bring them out on a slight diagonal in front of you. So you can roll back onto the twisty part. So you're not on your I'm hip there. You can roll back a little onto your you fanny. Fired. Arm comes up. So your option is top leg only lift. Or both legs, we're going to be doing some side oblique work here. So that core is engaged, that belly button pulled all the way to your side. This arm is going to come to meet the leg that's lifting her legs. You're going to lift and lower, or you're going to lift and lower. I want you thinking about crunching into that one side. Lift. 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 So you're getting the same thing into that core, even if you're just lifting one leg. One more set right here. Lift. So because you're on your cushy side, you're not hurting that hip. Four. Three. Two. Hold those legs up. Roll it to your other forearm and over to the other side. Lower the leg. Twist that arm. Here we go. Lift those legs to the arm. Lift. Lift. Exhale on the lift. Breathe out and lift. I want you to Can lower them down on a diagonal where you feel your abs tap to the tightest point. You're going to alternate, lower that one leg, and switch. That chest stays open, so I don't want you rounding into your shoulder. Lower and lift. So the work is holding that one leg nice and tight and still at a tight point. Those abs engage, you in, belly button to the spine. One, both legs. Four, a couple inches and right back up to that low point. Lower. Lift. So you're lowering and coming right back to that sweet spot. Good job. One, roll onto your back and pull those knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Tell me Open those legs girl. slightly and get a nice little stretch here in Are those inner thighs, in which should feel really nice. Oh, and bring those knees back together. I want you to bring those hands behind those knees and rock yourself up to meet it. Facial. We're going to take those legs out into a wide straddle, flexing those feet to start. Take a nice deep breath up and flat back towards the center. Keep that hard flex on those feet. And now I want you to drop those hands and drop those forearms or chest. Feel a little bit of a deeper stretch. Walk those hands back in towards the midline. Point those toes. Take a nice deep breath up. Turn to that right leg and slap back towards it. Keep both those cheeks on that mat. So don't lift your one cheek. You only go as far as you can, keeping those arms long, that back straight. And now round into it, reaching for the shin, the ankle, or the bottom of that foot, dropping that knee down towards the nose. That belly is still pulled in nice and tight. Just feel a nice stretch here in the leg. Now lift that top arm up and that chest. And driving those hands over that head, trying to reach towards the toe. 
and I was thinking about keeping those tummies in nice and tight and think about that um, sad. I want you to use that core to help drive Deep Turn that torso to the opposite leg and slap that forward. Keep that hard straight in your toes. Those biceps are next to your ear. And now round into it, reaching to the shins, ankles, or bottoms of those feet, dropping that nose down towards that leg. And don't let that belly hang out. Take that top arm and lift it up and over the head. Fingertips are reaching as far as they can, trying to touch those toes. By using that sideline, I want you to use it to help you pull yourself back up to center. Nice deep breath here. That tail. So I want you to bring those legs together. Roll forward on. Come between the feet, those legs are separated, those knees are out on a diagonal. Can't walk side by side. I was like, I'm going to relax for a second. All right, keep those palms pressed on that floor. You're going to straighten your legs and shoot those hips up to the ceiling without lifting your hands. Okay? So shoot those hips up. your hips. Carefully lift yourself up to standing, feeling the back of those legs move and exhale and give yourself a round of applause. You guys did awesome. Thank you, Jody. Sorry about the confusion and the, with the music or the sound in the beginning, but have a great weekend. Thank you. And Thanks, Jody. Well, it's coming bye. probably on Monday. See you Yay. Monday. I'm excited. Yay. Yeah. Bye. All right, bye, guys. Bye. bye. bye.